Father's Day. It's Father's Day. So, happy Father's Day. Um, Doug actually called me out earlier today because we, we didn't record tonight, but he and I sat in the studio, talked, uh, talked through a lot of stuff about the future of the show, what we want to do, things that we want to want to get you guys involved in, and so on. But uh, he called me out for being very introspective, and and I guess that's what I'll talk about today. So um, last week's recording, which is next week's episode, uh, is with Jim Brown, who you may know from his exploits with Rad Racing, building that program from its infancy uh, up into multi-time national champions and juniors and all that stuff. But after the show, he sent us a documentary that he said we should watch because we were talking about some some stuff about toxic masculinity off the air and and some of the things that that he's changed about his life and so on and so forth. And he he pointed us towards this this documentary and it was on Amazon Prime and it's called I think it's called the the mask you live in, um, and it's about the the masculine culture that is that is kind of Western culture. Um, and so my wife and I watched it and I, uh, I guess I, I'm okay admitting that there were three times in this documentary where I cried, um, just because there's so many of the experiences that are in this documentary that, that I either experienced as, as a little kid who was, was, I guess, more emotional or, uh, more sensitive to the world around him and, and. People would people make comments like, well, he's just, he's sensitive or he's more tuned in or, or whatever excuses that people would make. But um, it's not easy in this culture to, to be somebody who is male and grow up in, in a culture of win at all cost and, and uh, he who has the most toys wins and he who makes the most money makes the decisions and, and all of this stuff and all these bullshit idioms that, that we've developed. But um, I highly recommend you guys go watch it. it, it it's not one of those, I, I, don't, I rarely feel that documentaries are, are life-changing, but it's nice to see somebody put something that you've experienced and you felt into such a digestible, a digestible media. But, um, you know, growing up, I was like, I idolized my dad and, and like, I still to this day get really excited when I smell fresh blacktop. Cause it reminds me of my dad. My dad worked on road crews when I was a kid and, and he would come home and I'd be excited to see my dad and he would smell like blacktop. And that's cool, and that's something that stuck around with me for my entire life. And and you know, both of my parents are are they're very kind, very empathetic, sensitive people. And and I think I got a lot of my traits from them, and and learned how to navigate a lot of the world from them, and um, learned a lot about what strength is and what strength isn't. And it's funny because you know, watching this documentary. I think, you know, I'm, I'm 36 and I think back to, I would have been five or six years old when my parents were 36. And when you're that old, you think your parents just have everything figured out. And I, I still look at myself as somebody who's waiting to become an adult. So like, there's so many things that, that like I remember from my childhood where like, they may have been bruises that, that you took that like, well, my parents were acting out on me because of this or whatever, but they're just trying to do the best they could. And they were figuring out as they went, they don't, they don't have all the answers. They still don't have all the answers. Just like I don't have all the answers and, and, and having it be put in, put in perspective like that is, is always good. And, and, uh, having somebody take the time to make something that really calls out in a very profound and, and, pointed way what toxic masculinity is because it's you know it's easy it's easy to have the 280 character twitter hot take about what toxic masculinity is or or what cis white male this or blah 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 that or whatever whatever approach that you want to take it's easy to have a hot take on it but it's it's a lot harder to actually 
dig up the information, talk to people who have had, who have had counseling, who have had, you know, suicide attempts and, and who have had friends that have killed themselves or whatever the case may be because of this culture that we've built up for our boys. And, and it's, it's, it was really good. It was very, very moving and, and spoke to a lot of the things that I grew up in. And, and, you know, it's, it's, it's always easy to take life for granted as a white dude in America. And I am not, I am not blind to that. There's, there's a lot of things that have, that have been gifted to me in my life and I am forever grateful for that. But, um, we still have a lot of work to do. And, and I guess if, if nothing else, take the time this weekend, if your dad's around, if your dad's still around, still part of your life, thank him, tell him you love him, cut him some slack. He was trying, he was trying to do his best. That thing that, that happened 20 years ago or whatever nonsense that you guys have, you're both just humans, you both mess up. I mess up all the time, you mess up all the time. So cut each other some slack and just understand that you both love each other and you both want the best for each other. So um, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Happy Father's Day to my dad. Uh, I love you from the bottom of my heart and happy Father's Day to my brother who is celebrating his second Father's Day now. Um, and he just added a second a couple months ago. So um, happy Father's Day to Matt um, with with Adeline and Luke, uh, both who are amazing kids um, and who I am very, very proud to be the uncle of. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's it for me. Go, go spend the $2.99 on Amazon Prime. I think it's on Hulu. I think it's on a couple. I think YouTube might have it as well for rent. Uh, the Mask You Live In, it's very good. Uh, and leave your comments below after you watch it. Tell me what you think. Um, tell me, tell me what part you agreed with, tell me what part you disagreed with, whatever, just, just watch it, interact, expose yourself to new things and, and, and think about life differently sometimes. So, um, that's it for me. Notifications, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, find us all those places, download this week's episode of the podcast, share it with your friends. Um, challenge us about some of the things that Andy said about, about bike infrastructure and, and, mobility and transportation and all that stuff that we talked about and kind of hypothesized about. And, and, uh, I think that's it. So until next week, this is John for episode 23, 23. Yeah. I'm right. 23. So see you guys next week. Peace. <laughs>